serving overseer of the Citadel Global Community Church, CGCC. Pastor Tunde Bakari has warned against the reopening of churches as directed by the Lagos state government in spite of the ravaging COVID-19 pandemic in order to avoid driving Christians like sheep to the slaughterhouses by trooping to churches. Bakari gave the warning Sunday during the CGCC's formerly known as the Later Rain Assembly Online Sunday Worship. He said, I have to appeal to you once again. Keep, please keep safe and do your best to stay alive. Do not let anyone, whether religious leader or governmental leader, to drive you like a sheep to the slaughter. If they, the government and the disease control authorities said that the month of August is going to be the peak of the infection, why should they ask people to rush in, reopen the churches again? Please keep safe and do your best to keep alive by keeping all the necessary rules. We know that by the grace of God, this pandemic, like the others before it, has an expiry date. It shall not see our end. We shall see its end in the mighty name of Jesus. The pastor said that even though the government had the right to shut the churches, it does not have the right to force us to reopen the worship centers. He said that the state government might have ca uh, caved into pressure from religious leaders to lift the ban it earlier placed on religious gatherings. His warning followed the Lagos state government's lifting of the ban which it placed on religious gatherings since March 2020 to check the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. The state government recently announced that public religious worships by the Muslims and Christians in the state would commence from Friday, August 7 and Sunday, August 9, 2020, respectively. Okay, mm -hmm. that means it's going to be this weekend. Well, everybody is entitled to his opinion. I think I heard from a pastor, uh, Bishop Oyedepu, saying, oh, if they try to re to lock down the churches, that they will be fired, they will be this and that. We know those who have been speaking. And I just believe that everybody is entitled to his opinion. If they open the church, if you want to go, good and fine. If you don't want to go, good and fine. So if uh, Pastor Bakari does not want to open his church, good and fine. But if they open the church, if he wants his people to come, fine. If the other people want to go to their distance, let them go. Like they always say, a word is enough for the wise. Of course, we have been seeing the way things have been going in this country. Those who are affected, even by the grace of God, the way it's happening in Nigeria, it is not as a, I don't know if it's, if it is a, it's, it's not as a difficult or as a terrible the way it's been happening in other countries. But I've, I've, I've seen people who went through all this they came out successfully some did not come out successfully but those who went into it who were really sick that gave their testimonies it was not a, a tea party some people are carriers but it's not showing and that is just the irony of the whole thing but in one in another in other word even if you have a just ordinary kata or cough you know how inconvenient it could be so these days it is not a whether some people should go to church or they don't want to go to church, one thing I believe is that let them lock the churches. That does not that will not stop the work of God. And meanwhile, churches have online churches have been going on. People have been praying. So does it mean since the day they shut down churches? Let's forget whether the government, you know, that is their own palaver. Let them be playing pranks. Let them be playing tricks with with that. But what I just want to let Christians know is that since they shut down or they they, they lock down churches. Does it mean God has not been answering prayer? Does it mean the God has not been moving? Does it mean God has not been doing tremendous things? Huh. Let them lock if they lock it. They, it can never stop the work of God. That is what I believe. But if you as a person, you don't, you cannot take care of yourself. You cannot take the necessary measures by, you know, just safe, safe. Some people are even forgetting this whole thing. Of course, as a human being, you tend to forget because you see that oh, it's like everything is getting fine. It's like there's no, there's no big deal about it. But... Don't forget that it could be there. It's still there. Don't be a victim. Don't just try to go and fall sick because it will not help anybody. Oyedepo, on the other hand, Pastor Chris Oyakilima, on the other hand, he says this man that is even on his own, uh, whatever, the rest of us are just like, oh, open the church, open the church. Let them open the church because they will tell you now that they open markets. Let them go. Let them go. That is to tell you men of little faith who think that if they cannot come together in a particular place, God will not hear you. You are sleeping and waking up. Which miracle is more than that in this life? Sleeping and waking up. The other is the highest miracle on earth. It is those who are alive that will praise God. 
the dead cannot praise God. God has been moving tremendously. The Bible says that those that know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. Let them lock all the churches. Nobody can lock your mouth. Nobody can lock your heart to serve God. That is what I believe. Whether church or no church, whether open or no open, God is still doing, he's still in the business of doing wonders. But it is not like for everybody. If you want to go, if they want to open it, if they want to go, let them go. If you as a pastor, Pastor Bakar, if you don't, if you don't want your uh, uh, pastors or your church members to come, you can still lock and be doing what you want to do. You have done your own. Everybody is doing what he knows how to do. One thing I know is that nobody has monopoly to God's knowledge. Never. No matter if you like to spend donkey years, nobody has monopoly to God's, to God's knowledge. If you feel that you don't know, you feel that you have heard some people at that high pedestal, whatever, that is you. Nobody knows God more than any other person, unless you don't want to know him. Some people are not popular, but they are well connected with God. It is not by popularity. It is not by how long you have been. The Bible says that the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. So what are we talking about? Some people just believe that, you know, some people have the right to say this. Oh, they talk with God. If you are in that category, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That is what all I can say. Well, someone is saying here that uh, this is purely human wisdom at work. Probably he knows that there is no presence of God in his church again. That is why. Okay. It's like Pastor Bakari has gotten another job from the presidency. What is the issue with Pastor Bakari? These statements cause to question status of his faith in Jesus the same yesterday, today, and forever. Someone say, he's a hypocrite. Now we know clearly whom he is. And someone says, nobody is forcing his own church to open. Let him, let him, his own church be closed. Mr. Bakari, it is because, is it because of your appointments by the governor, government, you now turn your back to the masses. Thank God you have your own church. They should not open. Please help me ask this Bakari if he's of Christ or of other way around. Let churches be open. Let's speak with one voice. Enough of all these uh, policies. So unfortunate is this man a true man of God? He can, if he can advocate for the closure of the house of God, why other sectors have all been opened? Wolves in sheep clothing. And someone says, hmm, bam. Because you don't have branches and people are not much on your payroll. Winners RCCG, Price Embassy are big employers of labor. They need funds to service this huge responsibility. And I've never seen a redeem coming out to say they should open church. The man has never even said anything. Whether you lock the church or you don't, it's none of his business. The work of God is going on. So if you are saying this, damn, is it because of uh, the payroll? Because they are paying people. You can hear what people are saying. The Abde Boy himself has never even made mention. Ah, they have to open church. Instead of people to be concerned on how to let this pandemic, let it go. Go and pray. Pray. Let there, there, there will be no single case again. Those are the things that we guys are supposed to be doing. Pray if you know that you have the spirit of God in you, you have the power of God. Pray that so that this thing will, will clear by default. Nobody will say anything. It will be glaring to everybody. That is what we need to be doing, not a just open church. A lot of people have been going to churches, other states. Yes, they are going to church. Well. It is an individual thing. If they open the church, he can tell his member not to go. The ones that want to go, they can go. Of course, some people have been holding uh, service secretly. Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this.